Thank you, President Sivan, and the entire Board of Governors for conferring upon me this honorary degree. It is a great honor to be a part of the Technion Institute community, even a little bit late in my life. <laughs> to all of today's graduates, congratulations. As a scientist, As a scientist and as a Jew, I can't overstate how much it means to me to receive this degree and to be invited to address this year's graduating class. Since first opening its doors in 1924, the Technion has been a beacon of light, not only for Israel, but for the entire world. The story of the Technion like that of also my company Pfizer is a one of innovation, but also of courage and optimism, all of which have helped give birth to technological and scientific breakthroughs aimed of making the world a better place. Researchers at the Technion have driven advances in alternative fuels that are helping mitigate climate change. Professors Aaron Tsikhanover and Avram Herzog Nobel Prize winning work in ubiquitin mediated protein degradation led to a better understanding of human health. And the Technion's first of its kind collaboration with Cornell University in pursuing breakthroughs in the areas of connective media, health technologies and urban engineering is one of a kind. But none of these successes would have been possible without courage and optimism. The courage of Paul Nathan, who endeavored to establish a university in Israel that would improve the lives of Jews while they were largely banned from studying scientific and technological subjects in Europe. But also the optimism of Dr. Heim Weizmann and Albert Einstein who refused to let the school die after the financial difficulties brought on by World War I. Innovation, courage, and optimism are three things that define my life and my colleagues at Pfizer as well. As President said, it took courage to make the counterintuitive decision to use mRNA technology in the COVID-19 vaccine we developed. This courage not only helped us deliver a safe and effective vaccine in only nine months, but we, it may also prove to be an important step in unlocking the great promise that the technology holds for many other therapeutic areas, including cancer or rare diseases. Our successful vaccine journey showed us we can make the impossible possible. And our colleagues are now taking this newfound optimism to their work in other areas. Speaking to you that you're graduating today, if you're anything like I was on my graduation day, in addition to the great satisfaction, I'm sure you're thinking about all the hard work it took to get you to this day. But guess what? That was the easy part of your life. That was the part that the challenges were fewer. What comes is where the real life makes challenges very big, but opportunities even bigger. But what makes this new chapter of your life more exciting? It is that there is no set curriculum. The entire next chapter of your life is all elective. All depends on your choices that you will make. Your choices will define your future. Now I can tell you, I cannot tell you what choices will be the successful ones, because you are all different people, from different backgrounds, with different circumstances. What I can do is maybe share a few simple truths I have learned along the way that might help you make choices that are right for you, and that just might help you change the world, or at least the part 
that you belong. The first lesson is that setting ambitious goals that are seemingly impossible based on conventional wisdom does not restrain human ingenuity. It liberates it. That's why you should always aim high. If you aim for incremental change, you may prove upon something someone else has done, which is great. But it is only when you aim for big things, for step changes, that you can unlock the full potential of your creativity, discover completely new ways of solving a problem, and deliver true breakthroughs. Of course, aiming high does not guarantee always you will hit your target. And the truth is that most of the times you are most likely to fail than to succeed. Which brings me to the second truth that I learned the hard way in my life. Resilience. Resiliency is as important as getting it right the first time. Our failures can teach us even more than our successes can teach us. So when something you set out to do doesn't go as planned, don't choose to walk away and give up. Rather, choose to find out why it didn't work and let that knowledge inform your next attempt. That's how the world moves forward. And the third truth that I will share with you is that optimism is infectious and it is part of creativity. I learned this from my parents, particularly my mother, who was one of a kind, and it has been one of the key ingredients in inspiring me and all my colleagues at Pfizer to shoot for the moon and make the impossible possible. Of course, with our world facing several threats, the war, the pandemic, the racial hatred, to name just a few. You may find yourself asking, how can we feel optimistic in a world that feels so dark sometimes? There are many reasons to be optimistic. Human ingenuity, for example. Humans have a proven ability to solve problems. And the successes that we see right now, particularly in the health field where I'm, the, where I'm a specialist, in the convergence of digital technology and biology, have us poised to make significant progress in the battle against diseases, for example. Another reason is that humans are compassion, have compassion. As I was reminded again during my visit this week to Yad Vashem, the compassion of those who helped Jews escape the Holocaust was awe inspiring and can be seen today in those welcoming refugees from Ukraine, from Afghanistan, and other parts of the world. And finally, humans have courage. There is that word again. It is a powerful thing to have the courage to try something new, to challenge the status quo, to speak out against injustice. And even the smallest acts of courage have a transformational impact on our world. I will close with a quote from the man many have called the greatest philosopher of all time, Aristotle. He said, excellence is never an accident. It represents the wise choice among many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. As you approach the many alternatives that lie ahead of your journey, please remember to aim high, be resilient, and remain optimistic in all you do. If you do, you just might be surprised with what you can accomplish and the lives that you will impact. Thank you again for inviting me to be a part of this celebration I wish you all tremendous success, congratulations, and good luck.